pretty certain I've got all my audio issues figured out. Go, go, go. Basically, my voice is just too loud, so I had to put a limiter on and turn down the volume. Oh my goodness! This is why I stay far away from the Marines. All they do is get me killed. One of his own guys shot him in the back. Whoop. Area secure. Affirmative. Echo 419 inbound. Somebody order a warthog. You know our motto. We deliver. Kind of sounds like foe hammers flirting over the uh, military intercom. Or should I say, riz me up? <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I can't use modern slang without at least a degree of self-acknowledgement okay, that I shouldn't be using those words. If you rolled your eyes at that, mission accomplished. Somebody's throwing grenades. If any of you played co-op back in the day, you'd definitely hit each other in the back repeatedly, piled up grenades, and sent your little warthog shooting into the sky. Halo, the original Halo is so old that Halo videos predate, well not predate, but YouTube was not a thing. YouTube was an independent company, startup, that wasn't clear how anyone was going to make money, and Google hadn't even bought it by that point. But there was a 
fantastic little site called halotv.net, shout out Cyanide, where you could watch videos like Warthog Jump by Randall Glass, and you could watch it much like a television. We have to get in there and stop them before they learn the location of the control center. Except it was an uh, internet TV channel. And as long as you didn't stop it, you could watch Halo TV and Windows Media Player, and Cyanide did a fantastic job doing a sort of programming order. Back in the day, when technology was advancing from, you know, your N64, or your PlayStation 1, things like that, a lot was being made of the term sandbox, and when I say sandbox, I mean like just how big these levels were. It's pretty normal now, you know, games like Skyrim, or really just any AAA title that makes sense for that type of thing. It wasn't always that way. Not every game had the amount of room that you had, the freedom that you had to do with, with Halo. Halo was one of kind of one of those original I hate to use the word innovators, but they were the one of the originals to to do the sandbox concept and do it well. Because if it's not fun, ultimately it doesn't matter. And Halo was a lot of fun. Is. Rain and PRs. One thing I absolutely just love about the original and the remaster or anniversary edition, just admiring the various geometrical shapes. Don't let them lock the doors. I mean, surely I can't be the I only one. The Covenant's understanding of Halo subsystems. They've locked the doors, and we don't have enough firepower to get through them. Cortana to keys. Go ahead, Cortana. Have you found the control center? Negative, Captain. The Covenant have impeded our progress. We can't proceed unless we can disable this installation security system. Understood. We're still en route to the objective. I may be out of contact when we get there. Here are your orders. I want you to use any means necessary to force your way into the facility and find Halo's control center. We have to get to the center before the Covenant. Failure is not an option. Echo 419 to ground team. I'll stay on station and keep an eye out for Covenant folks. Second squad, ready to roll, as soon as everybody's topside. LZ looks secure, sir. Nothing moving. Good luck, people. Keys out. Don't mind if I do. We need to find the security override to get this door open. Looks like there is a path into the interior of the island.
You gotta be kidding me. Good nade throw, ruined by a flower. Or sorry, fern. Oof. It's absolutely crazy to me that you can just hit tab and switch between the old and the new. Hats off to whoever thought of that idea. Come on now, don't be shy. going on with my keyboard. Again, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if anyone had any gaming keyboard recommendations that don't break the bank. This isn't good. What is going on here? Just gonna go ahead and pause this for one second. Keyboard's just flat out not working now. Oh, great.
Yeah, I think getting a gaming keyboard just went to an urgent priority. I thought it was just the battery, but... I think my Logitech keyboard is trying to head to an early retirement. Use the hollow panel to shut down the security system. Good. That should open the door that leads into the main shaft. Mayday! Mayday! Dropship Bravo 22 taking enemy fire! Repeat, we are under heavy fire and are losing altitude! Understood. We're on our way. was ugly but it got the job done I think part of the reason I love this level so much is just the freedom that you have to get the job done. You're not like locked in with just point A to B. And so many games back then were like that. Like you wouldn't have options. It would just be do this level. There's only one path. And then Halo came along and was like, Bravo 22 nah. bringing us some heavy weapons. After I saw we were up against hunters, I thought you could use them. Let's move down the beach. Keep an eye out for any cargo we can salvage. And like I was saying earlier, Sandbox sort of became this... Not cure-all, but like they tried it on some games where it didn't work very well. And used it as sort of a marketing ploy. Halo obviously was not one of them, but... Having an open world concept was viewed as trendy, but not till after Halo. Halo was one of the first games that gave you, <clears throat> well not the first, but it gave you some leeway with how you accomplish your objectives. And based on your play style, you could do things maybe a little more straightforward Leroy Jenkins style, or you could do a more conservative play style.
the vehicles of Halo are just flat out fun. They weren't the first game to do a lot of the things they did, they just did them so well. And just hearing about the different development stories of Halo Combat Evolved, it's really incredible the game turned out as well as it did. And not everyone remembers this, but there actually was a recall originally. And then once they fixed the issues with the recall, which I can't recall all of them, once those issues got fixed, then it was relatively smooth sailing, other than the glitches that we all know and love. One thing Halo did well that kind of elevated the storytelling to a more cinematic level, to me, is just its sense of scale. Exposition is kind of a very obtuse method of storytelling. At some point, you do have to spell it out as to, you know, like what 343 Guilty Spark is, etc. But showing just how absolutely freaking massive the whole ring is. Just from a storytelling perspective, you you get an understanding that this is not just a very pretty matte painting. Which, of course, no disrespect to matte paintings. Matte paintings are a great and wonderful tool that were used as practical effects in a lot of old movies. But, again, Halo didn't wasn't the first to do a lot of what they did. They just did it well. I'm probably in the minority on this, but I actually did enjoy playing with the Duke controller, as it was called. Horrendous design compared to modern controllers, but it was fun for what it was. Oh! Had me sweating there for a minute, not gonna lie. I'll take that. Coming in fast! Damn it. Oh, 
Okay, people, we got company coming. Let's set the table. Engage enemy forces on site. It'll be easier to hold them off from inside the structure. Can you get inside? Negative. They're closing in too fast. Negative. Chief, you gotta find the cartographer. We'll keep him busy as long as we can. Give him hell, Marine. We'll be in a tight spot if we don't get out of here before additional reinforcements arrive. Let's find that map. There you are. There. That hollow panel should activate the map. Analyzing. Halo's control center is located there. That structure appears to be some sort of temple or shrine, if I've interpreted this correctly. Interesting. A shrine is an unlikely place to put such a significant installation. Cortana to Captain Keys. The captain has dropped out of contact, Cortana. Your fella caught me daydreaming. Contact, and then tell him that the Master Chief and I have the control We'll be heading there as soon as we're topside. Ooh. Affirmative. Small hammer out.
architect of my own demise right there. Gotta at least have one sticky grenade for you know who. <laughs> Bye! Well, this may not be an award show, but I think it's time to wrap it up. Fair warning. I will be looking for more opportunities to do dad jokes. Cortana to Echo 419. The chief and I are topside, requesting pickup. Calling me corny is Roger. not really an Roger. insult so much as a description. This shot right here is iconic. This reminds me more of a, a film than a video game. <laughs> <laughs> 